Week 8 is a busy week, but one that I think you will find fun. During this week, you're going to try out and share two different EdTech tools. The first is a screencast, where you narrate a tour of a website. To make this fun and tie into our first week introductions, we're going to share a screencast about a vacation spot we've enjoyed. The neat thing about screencasts is not only are they easy to, for you to create, they're also easy for your students to create. And that opens up new opportunities in teaching and learning. And keep in mind, based on one of our readings, engagement goes down after about six minutes. Some of you in the past have done about a 45 minute travel log and uh, nice, but uh, don't have time. So, so try to keep it under six minutes. The second tool that you're going to be using is a curation tool. We've been using Digo to curate for the last few weeks. So this week we're going to look at some options for curating videos. I've suggested four possible platforms or tools to use. Pick one. And I've posted a list of 10 people in EdTag, both past and present. And again, pick one. Find and curate some videos associated with your personal choice. You'll be sharing these in the discussions. So in your discussions this week, you'll be sharing both your screencast and your EdTech person curation and reflecting what these tools might mean for your situation. One of the videos I share in the readings is Mike Wesh's 55 minute talk on how YouTube evolved. I do not normally assign such lengthy videos, but I think you're going to find this one interesting. And you'll be tweeting about it, so let's see what you and others think. As always, I'm looking forward to seeing your tweets and posts this week.